Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, or channel, Jesus, channel, Goblets and Warlots. Um, we're back with episode 14 of the Outsiders of Icewind Dale. Um, I would like to make an update on our music. I have gotten permission from Midnight Syndicate for to use their music, and they expressed possibly doing giveaways in the future. So this point going forward in all my campaigns, I'll be using Midnight Syndicate. Uh, I've been looking for some better music for encounters and they have some really good tracks. So I reached out to them and they gave me permission. So thank you for Midnight Syndicate for allowing us to use your music going forward. Um, giveaways are done in the server. Do exclamation point uh, Discord and send it to the Discord. I'll be launching another giveaway starting tomorrow. Um, uh, Cal from the locals, he won the last giveaway. You got some pink dice guy sent off to him. Um, I haven't decided which set of dice I'm going to give away for the next uh, giveaway, but I'll do that tomorrow. Let's see. Uh, I'm now level 39. I took some time off for my birthday. I'm sorry, birthday for leveling up. Um, you will not see Measure of Dawn on stream today because she is feeling a little bit under the weather, but she is here. She will be playing. So that's why you see her mini, mini character art up. And um, if anybody else has any other announcements, feel free. Got a little shout outs. If not, I guess we're going to get into tonight's episode. Uh, so grab your goblet, sit back, and enjoy the show. Welcome back to tonight's episode of Outsiders of Icewind Dale. Our last we left off, our party members fought off the gnolls that pretty much attacked Timber Timberlane. They healed some people. Uh, Shire was learning under Graves on how to heal people. Uh, there was a blizzard that came in the last about four hours. Strider was doing some constant fire, or fireball, um, bonfires. bonfires. Yep, bonfires. Measure Don cooked up some. I forgot what kind of meat was it. Was it like the polar bear meat that y'all got? Yeah, she was yep. cooking up polar, her polar bear meat for the survivors of Timberlane to actual eat up and stuff. After the blizzard, blizzard lasts about four hours. Some people took short rest, some people didn't. Stuff. Um, the party, after the discussion, what they wanted to do, decided to head out, chase the, the gnolls that took the town leader. Decided he wanted to go and try to go after, try to save them and chase after. Um, to so your surprise, as y'all started chasing after this uh, null party, see, it seemed like wherever they're going, the blizzard was it, and you could barely see the tracks very easily. It's easy to follow. 
which kind of struck out kind of odd. Uh, after a short time, about after an hour following these tracks, they kind of take a uh, art uh, towards to south a little bit. As soon as y'all went around the bend, saw three figures, each have blinding light coming from their hoods of the cloaks. Um, they didn't seem to pay attention to you, respond to you at all, and end up having a fight. Uh, the party didn't do so well, but they were able to survive. While uh, Rory went down a few times, and last we left off, they were unconscious. Um, that's where we pick up tonight's episode. I would say it is snowing, but it's not a blizzard or anything, so you won't have to roll anything. But the snow is steadily coming down at this point. What y'all like to do? Is there anywhere nearby that we can see that's any kind of like coverage or anything so that way we can rest up? A Romy survival check. All right. Getting the first rolls in. Hey. A 14. Actually, that would be more perception. Give me a perception. A 14. <laughs> Still, didn't change anything. Okay, got it. Um,. You don't really see any like trees or anything. You just see big banks of snow. You can probably make a like little little work, whatever. You can probably dig out a hole and try to cover from wind and stuff. But you don't really see anything. What do you guys think about setting up a camp over here? We're gonna need something because we gotta get our wall board back up. So, Graves, how, how are you feeling? Old. Does anybody want to look at the parties? I don't think y'all did that in the last session. Look, uh, did we? Was there anything on their body? Yeah, I will look at the body. Look at the bodies. Um, like an arcana uh, investigation. Investigation. That will be a seventeen. You don't find anything of like, um value or anything on them but you do discover that um one was the shopkeeper mm -hmm. has features of the shopkeeper another one has the features of the innkeeper that y'all stayed at and the third one you're not sure who it's been from tourmaline mm-hmm And graze with that high enough check, you will see that this looks about where the spot they uh, stopped at. Kind of tracks, kind of did like a little circle or something, and then they headed off. But so it just looked like they stopped and then turned around. Well, it kind of looks like they stopped. Like the tracks, the tracks are more like huddled in a spot location. And mm -hmm. then the tracks head on out. Okay. I guess I'll call out for measure. Now you're sick, yes. but how are you feeling? I'm, I'm good. I'm healthy. It looks like everybody else is not healthy. So what do you need from me? Do you see, do you think you can check out these tracks and see if there's anything you can find from them? Oh, yes, Better of course. Better than you're in these areas than I. Uh, survival check? Or sur survival roll? What are you trying to check for? I don't know. Just... You're checking... I mean, what are you checking? Like, the body? The tracks. tracks? Um, you don't have to roll for that, because you can still see them, but even though the snow is starting to come down, they're starting to get covered. The measure done, I th you already know, like, where the... where their home base is at. So. Oh, right. Yes, I do. Um, Everybody else sorry. does not. My, my brain is a little bit foggy. Um, uh, uh, you know, pretty much about south east of uh, where East Haven is, there's a small mountain range right before oh, the actual yes. spine of the world, and the chasm uh, is in between there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I'll take this moment to, to, to mention to, to, to Knight Cleric 
Uh, yes, um, there is uh, tracks leading to, I believe, um, Cackling Chasm in the south. What do you know about this Cackling Chasm? It is a uh, home of uh, the, the gnolls, the, the, the creatures we fought in, in that sort of Tremoline. So there will be more there? Yeah, likely, yes. Hmm. Then I see. You know where this is, yes? Oh, uh, yes, I can, I can lead there. I suggest we get some rest then before we go anywhere. Uh, yes, I, I have no ability to uh, keep you alive anymore today. Neither do I. <laughs> he looks exhausted. Um, if we can get a camp set up, you and Strider, you, uh, you both seem well enough. You can get some form of a camp set up that we can take a rest for a while. That'd be nice. Yes, I will, I will get to work on this. Uh... And she'll she'll head over to Strider. I think he was looking at some snow banks or something. That's yeah, funny. I'm already trying to prep one of the snow banks in order to make like kind of a makeshift camp. Yeah, yeah, I'll help. Just make sure that we're buffeted from the wind. Uh, Lucan will, will take one of the tents that he found, start setting it up kind of around Wild Roar, since Wild Roar is still kind of unconscious at the moment and doesn't seem like anyone's able to heal him at the moment, so he's going to start like trying to make a tent around him so he can start at least resting. Um, you may want to try to bring him over to where your camp is at. I'm setting the tents like around him where he's at, since there's no way I'm going to move this giant lion. <laughs> so I'm imagine like camp isn't going to be too far from where he's laying. We're all like right here. Unless uh, Strider's setting it up like right where he's down at. I'm going over where the banks are. Yeah, Whenever so it's is. about like 30 feet from where uh, Wild War is at. Anyone help me move him? What are you trying yeah. to move? We're trying to we're, we got to move Wild War closer to the, the bank because you said it was 30 feet, right? About 30 feet from where he's currently playing Miami. unconscious. Uh, yeah. how, how heavy is he? How heavy are you, Wild Roar? 300 pounds. He's like in lifting. It's fine. I will, I will carry my friend. Okay. With, with ease, measure down, lift him up, and waltz him over. I try and help by carrying like his feet or something, but I still like one of them still drags in the snow. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Bring him over easy enough. I do not think I have any more <clears throat> healing ability today. He, does, he's, he seems like he's still breathing, right? And he put, kind of puts his ear towards uh, his uh, <laughs> Wild Roar's like, mouth area and snout tries to hear a breathing. He might eat you if you do that. Can I try any kind of a medicine check? <clears throat> yeah. Not great. Twelve. I mean, he's breathing. Just let's beat up. Uh, do go I, down. Do I, with with that, do I know if he'll be okay in the night? I can roll a medicine check on him. I'd be taking care of him anyway, because I can't do anything else. So, I mean, he's Every, stable. He's just he, I, he's just literally just tending to him more yeah. of a nursely thing. Yeah. So I'm just gonna roll a medicine check for that. I, w um, I would say measure it down for your role. You feel like he might need, you would feel like he needs to be checked on like every few hours or something like that. And like cleric, you uh, you you tend to him well. Like uh, check on him, make sure he is warm. Check check a couple hours. That's fine. I used to train the dogs back home anyway. I'll be fine. I'm afraid a couple of teeth. He's bandaging him. All right. Um, I say it's getting pretty late in the evening at this point. Shell setting up for a long rest. Um, I don't know if anybody has any torches or anything. You might could try to start a fire with those. I will pull out my quiver uh, and 22 arrows and just kind of use those to kind of set up a fire. And then I'll do my 
bonfire cantrip just to get it started. And then yeah. the arrows themselves should be able to hold it the rest of the way. Good, easy enough. Uh, you're not using the silver, silvered arrows, right? I think you got like silver. three si silvered arrows from the tomb. I don't think you're using those, right? I don't have any silvered arrows. How many got silvered <laughs> arrows? Silver arrowheads. I think they are arrowheads, right? Yeah, they're arrowheads. I'm sorry. Yeah, never mind. They want actual arrows. Got it. All right. Uh, as y'all prepare to take a long rest, who wants to take the first set of watches? Don't want to role play or anything before then. I'll be trancing, so I'll still kind of be keeping an eye on the surroundings, but just kind of blur, blurry watching. Uh, y'all setting up tents? Yeah, as will yeah. have set up his his tent probably last, and then just crawled in immediately and entered a coma. I right. would have done like a uh, another like a separate tent for him in wild uh, wild roar, and he would have set up his little praying stuff there while he's sleeping. Okay, I'll be trancing at the front of Az's tent. Keep in mind, it's still snowing outside. Yeah. Yep. I'll try and keep close to that fire, too. All right. Luke can we'll the difference next. between the two. Lucan will sit next to that fire across from, from Strider. Just kind of meditate while he sees, because he sees Strider trancing. He'll meditate for a bit before he goes and crashes somewhere. Probably closer to one of the tents. <laughs> All righty. All right, so who has first watch? Uh, measure I'll take first watch. Go ahead and roll me in a perception check. Let's not screw up. 26. That would be... With disadvantage? I have a disadvantage? Why? Because uh, of snow. Heavily coming down. Unless you use... You actually, if you're using your staff, I'll allow it. You're fine with that. Okay, I will use my staff. Um. So... Your staff magically abuse where you have a nice clear sky and helps you can see far off. Mm -hmm. um, right. <clears throat> and that's a nat 20, by the way. Yeah. So 26. Uh, at this point in time, you don't see anything approaching or anything. Um, and just... With that nat 26 and using your staff, you can see three sets of smoke coming from like far off distances um like in the air like um like not beside each other but like further down like in stern give me a survival check okay 13. uh you're not quite sure but you might think those uh smokes coming from up into the air might be the locations of three towns to the I have good vision yes okay I will, I will well with the a... staff and a nat 20 a nat 20 <laughs> <laughs> so otherwise no you natural wouldn't. environments yes but... I will wait until my 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 uh my shift is over and tell uh uh everyone well tell whoever comes next uh what I saw your watch passes without any issue. Who has second watch? After four hours, I can start watching. So you can take your long rest if you're meditating or trancing. Cool. Better you go relieve measure done. I want to have that little interaction. Strider, I believe towns. I, I do not know if you can see uh, uh, smoke in, in distance, but I believe that is the towns. I've seen nothing. Okay, I'll keep my eyes on it. Good, I am going to rest now. Cool. And she just collapses beside the fire. Okay. Uh, Shara, you want to give me a perception check with disadvantage? No. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> a 22. Disadvantage? That's really good. I, ro I rolled an 18 and a 19. <laughs> Jesus. My dice have been hot today. You have dark vision? 
You do, right? Uh, I do have dark vision, 90 feet of it. I will say your dark vision helps you see through the heavy snows coming down, but you don't quite see what measure you're seeing. Um, cool. Because of her magical staff, she gives her the ability to see that far. But you don't see what she's seeing, but you can feel confident enough you can see out. And you, nothing happens during your watch. Perfect. Who wants to take the last watch? I can help with taking the last watch. <laughs> All right, you can have a little interaction if you like. been pretty calm so far pretty calm not, not right. really much to watch out for we will just kind of stretch for a second oh all right well hopefully uh no more surprises huh sure hope not all right so well, let me eyes eyes are on you and i'm just gonna go walk over and just kind of tend to the fire don't step on the glass i have a uh my lowest roll was a 15 plus 5 is a 20. Um, Dirty 20. You already had disadvantage anyway. And Do you have any measure or result level exhaustions? I have one, but disadvantage only goes by one. So. Yeah, I know. I just make sure for my knowledge. Yeah. All right. Um, you got what? 15? Uh, I got a 15 and then add my perception. I got dirty 20. A oh, dirty twenty. Jeez. Yeah. Who needs this advantage with this group? <laughs> Don't uh, say that. Do you have dark vision? No, <laughs> uh, I do not believe so. Actually, does our hair gonna have dark vision? I don't know if it does. Mm -mm. No. no, no, I do not. Uh, they got um, money. Got... So using your ears, house. you can f you can feel how calm it is, and it's weird. Um, the snow is still coming down heavy. Um. Not quite a blizzard, but you watch passes without any issue. Everybody can take their long rest. Yes. Um, they'll take one low exhaustion off. Uh, if you have inspiration, you can use it, as I said before, to get real level exhaustion. Just let me know if you do or not. Uh, Wild War, come to Bragi. Actually, you probably come to an extent. <laughs> is anyone next to me right now? It would have been Graves, I think. Yeah. At, at this point? Yeah. Okay. He was completely taking care of you through the rest. Luke and Will have been sitting outside that tent, specifically. I'll just kind of look up and look around. Um, are you awake at this point, Graves? Yes, he is not sleeping. He was b taking it slow, but slowly watching over you, taking care of you. He has not slept. Slept. You, you have not um, taken a long rest then? He's taking a long rest, but a long rest can be relaxing, just downtime, not doing anything. It doesn't necessarily have to be sleep. Um, he's not, he, he was kind of like on and off napping through making sure that he's not dying in his sleep or choking on his own blood. Oh, I will That's say then you would not lose a level of exhaustion if you have one then. You'll still have That's that. Fine. I don't think I had any. Uh, I will wake up, uh, and try to slowly kind of like get up on my elbows and try to pull myself up. Um, and I'll look at you and say, what? What happened? Oh, you hit the ground. Is everyone okay? Everyone's fine. You had the worst one, actually. Wasn't sure if you were going to make it. Did you deal with those things? Well, we're alive, aren't we? Yes, Relax. It's... Take it easy. I wouldn't be moving too much if I were you. I'll lay back down for a minute. Have you been here all night? I must. And you can tell that it's kind of taking a lot for Wild Roar to say this, and you don't know whether it's just because of him personally or his exhaustion, but um, I'll just say, I owe you my deepest thanks. 
So then don't do that again. You wanna thank me, then don't die. I'm not gonna carry you. I'm too old. I'm fragile. Your weapon's behind you, by the way. Don't worry. I didn't take it from you. It's much too heavy. Hold his chuck he'll chuckle at you saying that you're too old for that. Yeah, that too. Anyways, get some rest. Uh, I'll bring you some food. Thank you. Friend. Do you prefer raw or do you prefer cooked? Whatever is easiest. He tosses you some bear meat. Raw it is then. Bon appetit. Thank you. I appreciate it. He's Much a appreciated. Old man. He'll uh, go back to his prayers. He won't say anything. I kind of leave you to your own devices. Well, Rory, as you get Tulsa's raw meat, it's frozen stiff. Sorry. Hmm. Oh, well. I'll just put it down on the ground. Just for my edification, what is your prayers? Like, is it out? Is it like an audible thing or is it just something that you do silently? Um, he does do some of it. It's more of muttering to himself oh. than to you. I guess it would, would be than anything else. Uh, but he does have some verbal speaking, um, some hand movements, even some gestures. Mm. Uh, but it's mainly to this small stone carving of Odin that he carries around with him. Uh, you can see that he's, there are some wooden ones that he's been trying to slowly carve, but with his hands being shaky, they're not very great. Hmm. Uh, would I be able to see the, the carving of Odin? Yeah. Um, I'll just ask you, not intending to be, but a little condescendingly, um, oh, so you, you, you pray to gods? I suppose so. What do you pray to? The hunt? We we do not believe in gods. Really? Gods offer nothing to us. So what do you look for when you not need support? We pride. Really? Gods have been nothing but a nuisance to our people. Gods brought your people into existence. Gods favor the humans more than us. There are gods that are not human. You do know this, yes? For example, there's a god that is spoken of, the god Fenrir. He's a wolf. One of the most powerful gods, actually. Not seen in a good way, necessarily, but very strong. The woman god, oh. the world snake. He is another one that is not a human. There are many. You just need to open your mind and actually look. You think all gods are based off of humans are wrong. Many of them are depicted of elf, drow, even halflings. What is this wolf you speak of? Fenrir. He is said to bring the end of the realm, the celestial realm, so to speak. But it has not happened yet. But it is foretold to happen. And believe it or not, one of the sons of the realm birth that creature. Sounds very mighty indeed. Mm. Comes from a giant, actually. From a half halfway. He kind of giant. Not exactly measure, but these gods what do they do for you Whoa. nothing they don't need to do anything for me i pray for them once pray if they feel the need to give something to them then they do so but i do not do it so I can something. if you are capable then why do you pray if you have all these you seem very knowledgeable, very powerful. So what do you need with God? 
I do not follow Odin because I need something from him. So I respect ever since I learned of him. I really saw my own path, my own journey with it once. I will leave that one text. It's more of a respect than anything else. So I follow him for the respect, just as one would follow the leader of the pack. They trust the guidance in every place. They are just similar things. Not exactly, but that's not. I think of their god as more their ancestors that teach you through paths, sometimes guide your way. I don't think so much, though. Hmm. We do have great respect for our ancestors. We all have a god in us, somewhere. Hmm. You get us he'll just kind of take that to heart and then he'll just kind of lie back down and, and take it easy for a little while longer that being said what is everybody else doing as is currently snoring up the storm he is sprawled out in this two-man tent because he's not sharing with anybody <laughs> Sleeping in it sideways, like legs, <laughs> arms, just like. <laughs> All right, Strider, Luke, and Measure. I think y'all are still outside. Lucan would be, now that his watch over and everyone's getting up, uh, he would have stood up and started stretching a bit. And just like, oh, I'm still a bit sore, but uh, should be good to go. <laughs> He'll just kind of do a couple of rabbit jumps, make a cartwheel, try and get the get his blood flowing. I'll be kind of cleaning up camp, and then uh, as I'm passing by Az's tent, I'll accidentally like kick over kind of one of the stakes that's kind of holding the <coughs> thing in place to kind of get it to collapse a little bit. <laughs> All right. Um... I'll just say it does. It, it, it's a little <laughs> stiffer because it was frozen, but it, it falls in on ass. See if it wakes you up. Oh, that's a one. Oof. Rough. Oh, no, sorry. It's a seven. I'll say ooh. I'll say after a little bit, you try to roll over and you start rolling over the tent. And you start trying to wake up from that. Or getting tied up. <laughs> like Pretty much. Yeah. And it started getting harder to breathe. Swinging at it. <laughs> Come for me. <laughs> Mitchell, what are you doing? Uh, she would be, um, as this is one of the first times she slept outside in a while. Um, since meeting uh, the, the the outsiders, uh, she would be um, she would have woken up just before uh, the sunrise. Um, is is the sun visible right now? Is it still cloudy? It's only visible to you if you use your staff. Uh, she would be looking out at the just looking out in the direction of the sunrise, um, and kind of just staring. Like just it would look like to anybody else, she was just staring. Yeah, if you're using your staff, you can see the sun. If not. It's still cloudy, gloomy. It's always like this. Yep, yep. She'll just be standing there, like a like, like a like a stone giant statue, just staring. All right. Uh, anybody doing anything for? Is the fire still going, Strider? Uh, I'd be letting it die out at this point. Unless y'all want to use it to try to unfreeze the food. Ooh. Yes, we would thaw some meat out for for, for something to eat as well. I say you can, something we if you keep the fire food. going, you can do that easily enough. Yeah, Graves would have told him that we need some food, so to keep the fire going for sure. Also, do I take it we got a long rest? Yeah, everybody gets a long rest. Yay! Except technically, Graves stayed up. You get your long rest, but you still have exhaustion for it. No, I get you. We're good. Um. All right. Uh. 
<laughs> what would y'all like to do? I would like to try and untangle myself from my tent. I'll run over and I'll I'll help him get untangled from his tent and just kind of be shouting out words of I I don't know what happened here like this is kind of messed up. Uh, by the way, Az is only making it worse because he's panicking. <laughs> <laughs> so, so. Uh, if you so want to roll like an insight wailing. check, As and Strider, if you want to roll a deception check. Not be the other way around. No, 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 Strider's what saying. I, what am I lying to him about? about no, no, I said as insight no. check and Strider. Yeah, I'm lying to him. Yeah, uh, I'm deception. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Like I know I didn't mess that up. What'd you get? <laughs> I don't like your face. <laughs> you I got a sixteen. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I got a sixteen. Oh shit. Uh uh. Tiebreaker flat D twenty. Whoever gets higher wins. Well, that's the thing. My deception is a flat D twenty. Ooh. Ooh. It's okay. Shit. My insight's a flat D twenty as well. So I, I would say like. What you you want to trust each other? You've been traveling for a while. I will say y'all trust each other, and you, but you also yeah, don't yeah. trust each other at the same time. You're kind of like staring at each other, trying to figure out. You want to well, trust me, a, not trust me, or do you want to see my as, next roll? As a pan, I just as a player, I want to see your next roll. <laughs> a thirteen. A fifteen. <laughs> but as trust him, he doesn't know what happened. <laughs> yeah, it's a wilderness, you know. Weather's crazy. And that tent sucked. Also, Az isn't very strong. He's pretty sure he messed up putting up the tent by himself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> very possible. Like, really, not really sure why people left him to do that. <laughs> Dang weather, man. Sorry. I was... He bought a two-person tent and has been sleeping in it by himself. <laughs> I will say y'all can get the tents wrapped up real nice or whatever, and you probably... So if, I'll say the meats are good enough to eat. If you would like to eat the meats, have some sort of breakfast. Yeah, get some early morning food. What would y'all like to do? Well, after we eat, I suppose mm -hmm. we're going to the cave, right? The one that Ezra talked about. Do we still need the uh, the tracks? Or do we have an idea where we're going? Ezra said she knew the way. Near the way. Okay. I, I can lead you to the Cackling Chasm, but we will face. Where more. are we going? It is a place called Cackling Chasm. Yeah, that yeah. sounds like a no. <laughs> uh, it is not a safe me. place. <laughs> well, then why are we going? I, I believe because that is where they took all of the people. Did you forget what we were doing? Yeah. We already, tracking we already those contract. people. Yes, Those people dead. are dead. <laughs> no, they took the town's the town's uh, speaker. The town speaker the town's wasn't. The town speaker I was wasn't not a of part them. of this contract negotiation. Well, it sucks. You're under my name. You're part of the group. You're there. It's right there in the fine print. You signed it when you signed the contract to join the group. You're fucked. Let's go. I didn't sign a contract to join the Fuck, group. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, whatever oh, contract that would be me. before you got the Icewind Dale, I think, because y'all were traveling together <laughs> before then. <laughs> uh, Wild agreement. Roar will, uh, will walk over to uh, Measure of Dawn and say, thank you, strong one. I know you were helping a lot in that last fight. Oh, you're, you. You, you're most welcome. You uh, were very... Uh, very dead, but see, for good reason. You were, um, how do you say, um, you took brunt of damage for all of us. I believe, I believe my friends, they would be dead without you. So, thank you. Oh, well, that is good to know. I've not been hurt like that in some time. No. Very hurtful. Very it was painful. glorious to watch, to be honest. Uh, I I will just uh, go silent. I just just thinking about the pain and stuff. He's just trying to like kind of block that out. It did look like a lot of pain, to be honest. Like it was a big hit. Yes, it was great. 
At the, at this at the very start when I saw them, I just saw a bright light. And then I passed out. I thought I was dead. <laughs> and then I just kept going away from the light, <laughs> toward the light, and away from the light, and toward the light. I didn't know where I was going. I was so lost. It happens. Do not worry. And then I wake up in tent with human. Nice human, but still human. I've been there before. By the night's events. Uh, I've had nights like that before, personally. Two things. I remember. (laughs) (laughs) He he sips up his his early morning tea. Now we get going? Yeah. Luke gets a look at his backpack. Um, My hips are starting starting to think about it. (laughs) (laughs) Kind of use the the two healing potions I had during that fight. Do we just healing potion check? Do we have more in general? Oh, there's. I'll toss them too. Oh, okay. I hold on to those, I guess. Uh, Grace, I meant to tell you with that investigation check, find a bag on one of those bodies. Oh, what was in the bag? I would have looked. Uh, you open the bag, reach in, you don't find anything. Your hand comes out, nothing. In. Hmm. I would like to try to put something in the bag. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to shit with you. Is it a bag of holding? Want to make an arcana check? Sure. And I assist <laughs> in the arcana check. Uh, I already have advantage on arcana checks. Don't worry. Um, that is going to be a 17 again. All your reading and knowledge, you read about these rare bags. And yes, it is a bag of holding. This is going to be useful. He starts putting, he starts transferring all of the, the, the cured meats and the food that they have <laughs> into this bag. All right. Because. Go ahead and add a bag of holding and just add what you want to add in there. Yes. Mm. Endless dead animal meats that I, are not the part of the put herbs. the tents in there, bud? I'll say each tent weighs 30 pounds. I didn't say that I found a bag of holding. I just have a bag. You I'm just seeing your, you. you can, no, you I'm just seeing head. you stuff stuff shit into a bag. I'm just going to assume that you're putting things into the bag. He I don't care that it's a bag you. of holding. He goes, can you hold this? This shit's heavy. I'm old. You want me to carry it? <laughs> stuff in the bag. You're young. <laughs> if it's you one of the big walk- people. Listen, back in my day, I had to walk 18 miles with a, with oh, a tent. God. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> you see As begin to raise his hand. You can't hit the elder lady. <laughs> and he swipes it slowly over his face. Oh my God, here we go again. <laughs> and he just changes his face to look like yours. And he goes, shut up. <laughs> okay, <laughs> he whatever. Goes back. <laughs> he, he just puts the bag on his waist. You're carrying your tent now. Happy? <laughs> Happy? That's what you get. Lucan, can I carry your tent for you? Want to put your your tent in here? Oh, hey, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Take over his tent. Strider, over would you like as to put your tent as, in here? As soon as Graves lifts away, I'm throwing a snowball at him. Uh, childish. I am too old for this. He puts his bag away. Carry your tent for yourself. Measure, can you take us, please? Uh, yes, <laughs> of course. What am I thinking? The cave, the chattering, whatever. Oh yes, I will. I will go to uh, <laughs> Capital Castle. Uh, follow, follow me. I, ignore the other graves. Just, just, just go. I will ignore. Wait, but, those. but which one's the other graves? I think it was. You should carry your. If tent. you're the other graves, and you say to ignore the other graves, do we ignore you, or should we ignore you when you say that? Strider, do you know? Do you want to become missing like your spouse? Immediate, just dark cloud just over Strider's head. That's what I thought. <laughs> just sulks away. You want to go Let's missing go. like your usefulness? Oh, I thought you were going to say like the cat, but uh, <laughs> that's been gone. Don't worry about that. Let's go. <laughs> like your hips and your pride missing. Oh. He, he looks more sad about the hips comment than anything else. Oh. 
I'll I'll walk up. I'll walk up and pat Strider on the back. I'll tell Rabbit. Uh, I have potion, but did not have chance to drink last fight. Oh no! Hold on to it. I uh, I now used one that I was carrying for for Graves, and then I had I had to take one at one point. Uh, trying to make sure we have at least some kind of backup, you know. For whatever it means, I think I can make those. <clears throat> it might cost money, but uh, more supplies. But I think I could potentially make them. Make clothes. Very useful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very I useful. I estimate that I could make them at uh, roughly half cost of what is normal. How do you make potion? Well, it turns out that I am very talented at using herbalism kit. So is there something we need to keep a some kind of herb we need to keep an eye out for, just in case? Yeah, or... I will talk to someone about that and see if I can figure it out. Yeah, but let me know. I'll keep an eye out. So, do we know where we're going? I do okay. not know. We are going to okay. Gackling Chasm. It is in South. I do not know if you want to stop off at uh, other towns for resupply or anything, but I can take you wherever needed. Would I know about this place that she's talking about, Jugan? Uh, let's okay. roll a... Oh, no. uh... Never mind, it's not important. I'm trying to think if it'd be survival or a history check. Your choice. Do a history check. Mm, def definitely not history. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know shit. I didn't think you would anyway. It's where you landed at and where you kind of stayed yeah. at. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess I guess we go. Is oh. this where important man is? I believe so. I, I believe that we are uh, following the gnolls, the creatures that took him. Hmm. And, and this is where they come from. As far as I know. Okay. I know. We shall go then. Looking I, didn't get to hit en I didn't get to hit enough things yesterday, so <laughs> I'm a bit angry. Looking south for a second, and he's like, wait a minute. Were those things? To, what were those things that were dragging the carts that they had? Do we know what those things even were? You wouldn't. Oh, he's asking the the, the group in general. Oh. <laughs> Don't say it. Don't say it. Uh, let's see. I think the only person might have a chance would be Grace because if his knowledge and reading you'd be about it he'll have to roll for it what are we rolling for uh Lucan was just asking the group if any of us knows what kind of uh creatures were dragging the carts that the gnolls had in the town what is it a history check yeah history or religion your choice that's gonna be let's see here Oop. There goes my d20. Whatever. 16. All your study of gnolls, you do not recognize those creatures. I have no idea where they are. Oh, uh, alright. I... They did not look like the rest of the gnolls, so I'm not sure what we were walking ourselves into. I will say, as y'all traveling, this snow and everything, your movement's half speed because of thick snow. But with measure at all needing, you can start going. Measure, give me a perception check. Uh, sure. Using your staff. That's another nat 20. 
you can see probably like 200 yards from where your your current location is like a small uh a black speck on top of the land like it's kind of sits like out of place from where you're at i will i will point it out and if anybody has the ability to see it then they can see it but i'll, I'll start leading him that way um if anyone wants to try to perceive it it'd be disadvantage far away why not why not let's see what my elven eyes see <laughs> got a one or a seven let's not see what my elven eyes see <laughs> yeah same because they don't see <laughs> this advantage would be a nine so assuming not really anything i see snow yeah not you one. see a lot of it <laughs> it's everywhere that one so some snow gets in my eyes i'm just ah shit <laughs> like it's so cold it's like freezing over you're like, you constantly on, breaking icicles off your eyelids <laughs> I like this the flames, like, come on knock off knock off yeah. so it's about 200 yards out got time for y'all to reach it y'all heading towards it I would be at the front with measure, so I would just be trusting her and to pay attention to stuff. So, since I can't really see very well, measure more closer you get, more you can kind of make out like a figure. Like it's almost like somebody sitting on top of the snow. And and no one else can see them yet. I will head directly towards them. Get closer and closer. Uh, let me get a group perception check from everybody else. Group perception check. Still at disadvantage? Yep. Awesome. So first roll was okay. I would say anybody with so dark vision, it'd be uh, regular. Yay! Okay, that'd be me then. Sweet. Nat 20. So... Probably the worst time to get an at 20, but 15, 16 total. Uh, two plus five is seven, so he's still melting some of the ice out of his eyes. So, uh, I'll say while Roar and Strider, you can start making out what she is seeing, not as clear as she can see because her other abilities, but start seeing like a almost it's more like a shadowy figure for you. Almost like they're sitting. It is strange for someone to be sitting in snow. Do they look alive? Uh, do they look alive? Cannot tell from this far out. Still about 100 I, yards out. I cannot feet. tell. We should uh, try and get closer. Y'all keep going closer. Eventually, you start seeing. Uh, he has white hair, almost like a cloak. Around him. Does not look, look to be moving. He doesn't look like the other ones, right? With the white no. face. Does he look alive? I... It all depends on how close you're going to get. Uh. So let's see. Is there any kind of like just can I use an, an insight check to just do like a gut check if everything's feeling safe right now? That would be more survival. I'm I'm fine with that. That's a fourteen. You can see it's as you're starting to get closer. You can see it's, now as you get closer, he's it's more like sitting like he's sitting on top of a large mound of snow. Strong one, what do you think? I am I am feeling very cautious about this. Um, and she's going to go ahead and cast a spell. Uh, hold on one second. Uh, she's going to cast uh, Pass Without a Trace. Okay. <clears throat> Lucan, is, Lucan is still walking straight because he can't see anything at the moment. Long years. Wait. Huh? huh? 
What? Just wait. Okay. How do you guys get ice out of your eyes? You, you don't. You just deal with it. How you can't... pour boiling water on your face. We have... I don't think we have that. Do we have any water? Hold on. Finds it like his water skin and starts like heating it up. And then just... pour some water. <laughs> I suggest oh. we just be, be careful. I'm let's try, and, try and be stealthy. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I would like to uh, roll a stealth check, actually. Uh, so pass the uh, trace, everybody within, I think, five feet of you, right? Or 10 feet? Uh, 30. 30? It's 30 yeah, feet? It's 30. Uh, everybody yeah, can so add if they 10. Choose to do, if they choose to do a stealth check. Yeah, if y'all if everybody's moving up, y'all can add ten to your stealth check. If you're not yep. staying within thirty feet, then no. Up. So group stealth, stealth check, guys. That's a sixteen. Um, <coughs> that's a twenty-three. Twenty-four. You said you said add ten to our stealth. Uh huh. I got yeah, a thirty-five. Yeah. I got a thirty. <laughs> Yeah, pass out uh, trace is kind of broken. Yes, it is. <laughs> Added a plus ten to my off plus round. <laughs> Who had the lowest? Uh, sixteen. It would be me. No, oh, sixteen is lowest. I rolled a twenty-seven. Nice. That's a disadvantage. And the other, the if I, I rolled on that twenty too. Who rolled the lowest? Bob Roar. I'm sure of Don. I think. Uh, no, second. I have a, I have a twenty-three. Yeah, I have sixteen. I rolled a two. No, I rolled a four. The person I cast <laughs> rolled the lowest. Okay, that's weird. All right. Helping the rest of us stealth better. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Just helping you guys stealth better by being louder than you guys. <laughs> but, uh, a, a 16 right. is a good roll. Let's just put it that way. It is a good roll. Just the worst of uh, the group right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, y'all can y'all feel like you're stealthing. The snow is much thicker here. Uh. And how close are y'all getting? Uh, I would try to get as close as I can to get, like see how if he's alive or if it's a person or what it is exactly. It's definitely a person. It's kind of like half his body is kind of like buried under the snow. They're it's not moving. Summon alive. my blade. Uh, I guess I would try to get close enough that I could get a good look at him without like getting within. You know, 30 feet. So you're 30 in 30 feet? feet away. 30 feet away, yeah. Okay. You can see this individual's frozen stiff. Give me a medicine check. Gotcha. That is a... I would say with disadvantage unless you're trying to touch him. All right. Hold on. That will be a 19 then. Uh, yeah. This, yeah. From what you can tell, it looks like this person's been dead a long time. But the, the sheer coldness of and frozen is kind of preserved its body in this state. Hmm. Let me get another I round of stealth checks. Gotcha. Oh, yay. I rolled the two this time. Hooray. I have 21. This is still with the plus 10 as well. Mm -hmm. It lasts for 10. It lasts for an 15. hour. I, I got a 36 then. 35. <laughs> 21. <laughs> got a 20. Is there, and everybody's together at this point? Raze is kind of like looking from a little bit of a distance, rotating around him. I need everybody to roll me a dexterity saving throw. Fuck. Uh -oh. I was still as far back as possible. I know, but if you're staying with 30 feet of everybody for them to get the plus 10. Uh, is this something I can see happening? I'll explain it. Just give me a dexterity saving throw. Well, 15. it depends on that. So, can I see it? Not right away, no. 
The ground is the ground is rubble. I'll say this: the ground is rubbling, moving, that you're stepping on. I uh, need a dexterity saving throw. <coughs> okay. Well, I was just asking for my uncanny dodge. Oh. Uncanny dodge is something attacking you, right? No, it's just a dexterity saving throw that I can see coming. It doesn't I, matter, I can right? say I, I can say anyway. you can roll advantage for that then. I don't need it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What did everybody get? 22. Yes, yes 22. <laughs> Argue about the advantage. Anything below a 22, <laughs> you fail. So 22, you make it. Everybody else fit. I rolled a 21 with a nat 20. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> Oof. Uh, oh Graves, my God. The Graves and Lucan, what did you get? 15. 25. Bullshit. Huh? 25. 25. So, Mr. Don... Graves and ass as y'all are approaching this individual getting closer while we're aggravate something and this massive beast erupts out of the snow and moving and it knots measure graves and ass on the ground, prone. Do not take any damage because of the thick snow. Oh, come on. Oh, oh. That was on the right one. I forgot to take the cap off. Oh, we God, can't it's see it. We can't fight it. Uh, oh, I even put the cat back on. God. <laughs> you put the cat back <laughs> on. <laughs> Let's just put that cat and... right back on. <laughs> I feel real sick. I gotta, I gotta go to bed. Oh man, what a game. <laughs> oh, disturbs. Just one thing after another. Dear God. Macridius, who disturbs you? Who is speaking? Is that coming from the, the creature or? It's coming from this ancient white dragon. Ah. Awesome. Is he speaking common? He can tell. Telepathically? Oh. Yeah, there you go. Hmm. And it, it asked who to serve its slumber. Yeah, uh, she. It's talking to your head, Graves. Oh, into, specifically into my head? Well, the first one says it out loud to everybody, uh -huh. and then starts sniffing you up and down, Graves. Shit. Uh... Why do I smell my blood in you? He'll speak in Draconic. I'm not quite sure what you're talking about. It's such... evil, okay. Old. Okay. Body. Listen, you, you don't have to make it personal. Credius, have you seen anything like this? No response. Who disturbs us? Now she's saying it to everybody. Who are you talking to? Macridius. You tried to touch him. Are, are you talking but about the writer? Why? With a clip flash, her claw. Gulps your head, Graves. Oh, that's not good. <sighs> With a clip flash. Everybody give me another death stereo saving throw. Okay. 22 again. 
Uh, mm. is, is this with advantage? No. Nope. 18. Hulk. 15. Um, everybody but Graves. 16. Oh, perfect. I rolled a nat one. So. Uh, you don't matter. She's got your claws. No. No, Everybody gets not on their butt from the sheer power of this ancient dragon. I'm already on the ground. That's true. <laughs> With but, 22? I hate dragons. And a little He's bit of time goes by. <clears throat> Y'all come to everybody's level five or four. Wait, wait, level y'all five. Or so y'all, we're, we're, we're I'm pretty sure we're like seven. <laughs> level four we're now. Like, we're leveling up. We're eight. Level five. What's a level up? <laughs> you level five. So Grace, you can take your level of sorcerer. As y'all come to, do not see the dragon there anymore. Is Graves still here? You see a much younger version, a much young individual that has, in place of where Graves' eye was, more like an ice ball, ice shooting out of it. Graves, it's not a real eyeball, but you can see out of it like you used to see with a normal eye. And it's steaming, and you're now, however young you want to be, your young version of Graves. With that being said, everybody is now level five. So let's, uh, you know, roll some hit die, everybody. Oh, boy. <laughs> Jeez. So we'll start with Wild Roar. Go ahead and share your screen. You can roll your hit die so everybody at home can watch. Uh, all right. Uh... I got hit level five. Oh, yeah. D12. Come on, baby. You guys can see, right? Yeah. Yep, we're watching. Oh, that hurts. You already have sissy sis health. <laughs> Was that tough? <laughs> yeah, I know. All right. Yeah. Also, Jugan, I DM'd you because I just wanted to get confirmation on something. Uh, DM me where? Uh, on Discord. Uh, ass, your turn. You need me to share, share my screen? Yep. Ow. Wait, look, there it is. It's the green button, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the green button. Uh, so I'm leveling up my warlock one. Okay. So it's my D8. Sith. Not bad. Nice. I will take that. And then I will rolled HP would be 40 now. Yep. If it'll allow me to pull up my thing so I can stop sharing. There it is. All right. That's right. I make all the things for the colorblind people. Uh, <laughs> screen? Yep. Uh, <laughs> Sure. Uh, what button do I push? Uh, five? Yep. And then manage HP? Uh, you just roll a D8. <laughs> you have to roll the die first. Yeah, throw a die. D8. Eight. Mm. Ooh. Nice. Very nice. You can add eight. Okay. Eight. Just so it would be a total roll 30. Uh, where do I put that? Override? No, no, no. Override. Override. No, no. Turn the 22 to a 30. Okay. Oh. Boom. 
Hooray, 45. Nice. All right. Graves, your turn. Get to do your level <laughs> of sorcery. Let's try. Mm hmm. Yep. Doing my sorcerer, so it's a d6. Hey! Oh, nice. man! Hey. Nice! There we go. Everyone's rolling higher on me with less, less die. Oh, that's what you get for taking the tough feet. <laughs> Strider. You get for taking the tough feet. There you go. Gonna see some secret sauce bullshit. here. Bullshit. I say bullshit. Then I'd like to swap out my tough feet. <laughs> secret sauce. Yeah, we see it. Uh, in right? Oh, snap. That was a D8. Secret sauce. That was a six, you monster. <laughs> oh. All right. And then the last one, Lucan. My turn. Sure. I appreciate taking one for the team, Strider, so that I didn't have to feel bad. <laughs> Right here comes a two right now. Shut up! Damn it! Why did you say something? <laughs> oh. Oh. Thanks, guys. That's that's it for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> call your shot. Just call it, man. All right. Wait, did I actually catch up and pass people on hit points? Maybe. With that being said. Y'all get knots on your butt. Wake up. You're not sure how much time has passed. <coughs> you find this young looking person. Instead of a uh, eye patch, you see this person that has a frozen ice eye. Kind of like steam coming off of it. <laughs> laying in the ground. Um, Graves. You hear in your head. I walk in your spark, my young child. You're muted. <laughs> it's that same dragon's voice, isn't yep. it? Oh, God. Golden Y. My what? You opened my what? I uh, opened your spark, my blood that lie dormant in your body. How is that possible? I've never <laughs> been here before. Go forth. Use my power to end a rail's rule. End this winter. Previous, I live in peace. And that's it. It's gone. Yeah. I mean, you can, can still try. I, can, mm -hmm. Since it was a dragon that just did something, can I do a history check to see if I can recall any info about what happened? Uh, measure, you recognize this person or this yes. dragon? From before. Uh, yes, her name is. Well, or is anybody asking? Because I know. Uh, Strider, go ahead and make me a history check. Cool. I get it with advantage because dragons are my favorite enemy. I mean, not hard to miss for the locals anyway. Well, since I had advantage, I got a two plus five. <laughs> <Your> advantage? <laughs> I rolled a one and a two. The one time where favorite enemy is uh, I would to come say for me. You, <laughs> with your background, your story, nobody really talks about this dragon. You don't know this dragon's name, but Measure Don does. Uh, Strider, uh, is um, uh, you are you are from here with me, and um, 
I believe that was Aviratris, the uh, the great white dragon. Very nice great. punctuation. White dragon. Ancient white dragon. I I do not know why we are not dead. Yeah, I I don't trust whatever it did or whatever has happened. Uh, what did the dragon is white and I am white. Oh, oh my hip feels better. Who's the young guy? Sorry, I gotta roll a perception check to see if I notice graves. Everybody knows his grave. I mean, that's more fun than roll. So, actually, Walker, that's a good you. You <laughs> would you? Oh, that's what you look like now. <laughs> Except you see, oh, that looks different. <clears throat> yeah, measure will immediately take her staff and point it at the young man. Yeah, as points his blade as well. What and I'll be pointing do? my bow. Oh God! What did you do with with the night cleric? Ah, uh, very funny. What did you do with night cleric? You were wearing his clothes. Who the fuck are you? And I will start charging an, an Eldritch Blast. <laughs> Tell me out my who mom, you are. Because I don't recognize you either. Who are you? What is going on? Yes, is this one of your tricks? <laughs> this is not one of my tricks. You have 10 seconds to tell me who you are, or I start blasting. All right, Az, do you want to play? He starts charging a guiding bolt, same way he always does. Measure will charge a guiding bolt the same way she normally does. Two of them form now. Measure, why are you doing this? Don't give in to Az's games. <clears throat> this, this is no game. Where is Night Cleric? I am Night Cleric. You are not Night Cleric. Night Cleric is old, frail man. Night Cleric looks like old. this, and he points over at Az. Do the thing. Listen, and I'll, I'll, I'll wipe my hand over and change it to the old <laughs> Graves and be like, this this is who, who Graves is. Who are you? That is me. What are you talking about? He hasn't realized that he could see out of his left eye yet. He's just still looking at you. I don't know what you're talking about, As You think you're funny changing into me? Do you want me to inflict wounds you again? I will put you, you, look, you in the... You look like you're 20. Graves is 60. Shut up. What? Tell me who you are. What do I look like? Old men looked ugly. You are rather good-looking men. <laughs> you are not the same person. Uh. First of all, I just I will, saved your life. I will life. then, I will rewipe my face and you did not save face my life. The way that Graves looks now. Oh, what is up with my eye? I look great. No, wait, I look like that now? This is who you look like. I don't know how you don't know who you look like, dumbass. Guys, what if that giant dragon climbed into graves oh then we kill him first of all do you have a dragon in you we kill first this guy first of all <laughs> a dragon would not fit inside of me second of all i've seen what fits inside of graves if you truly are him there's a possibility <laughs> he's, he's saying that i told you not to talk about that again okay that was one night with that satyr. Uh, we don't talk about it, okay? As will reach out and grab Graves, because <laughs> that's, that's a story he would know. <laughs> I never got the hoof prints out. Why do you look so young? I have no idea. I really don't. Why did that why, why did the dragon grab you by the face? I don't know. I was grabbed and I woke up here with you. And I can see again. What's your eye what looks look really like? weird. Weird. He's trying to he's like flash. He's like opening and closing his eye. That just makes you look stupid. Now you look stupid and weird. Okay. Uh, Graves, as you good. do this, yeah. you can feel that your eye doesn't fully close because you got like yeah. Does it kind of goes around the icicles that comes out of your eye? Uh, or ice? 
I spy. Uh, well, it would. <coughs> I can see. Look, I can see you. He has his, his normal eye closed, just looking at you with the blue eye. Snow eye. It works well. Okay, so... I everyone, this is Graves. Don't ask me how I know. It's a story I was paid never to tell again. Paid a lot of money to never talk about again. Haters! <laughs> a lot of money not to talk about again. Remember? What are you talking about? Exactly. You are anyway. old, but you were old man. What do I call you now? I still call you old man. Still. Actually, I don't feel old. I feel great. Thank you. <laughs> I did. Anyways, this. This is important, but where's the speaker? Do you see? Have you, has anyone you seen her? She's supposed to be uh, here, right? No. Did we arrive? I thought we, we were just like. Oh, just, it was just, just somewhere in the middle. I, I think I missed that. Did this just happen somewhere in the middle? <laughs> I will what? say, Master Don, you wouldn't know. We're probably about just west of East Haven. Then. We're just west of East Haven? Okay. As you're we are, traveling south. We are still going south towards Gagling Gazam, but we are close to town if you want to go. It's up to y'all. Here, uh Old Man. Do you yes. still work? Does my your body ears work? work? My ears are my are you ears strong? work better. I relative. Are you stronger now? Yes. I feel stronger. I'm not sure how much stronger. Measure will attempt to push him. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Contested straight chats. Let's go. Oh, that's different. Can I use athletics? I'll or let y'all. I'll, I'll let you each use athletics or acrobatics. Y'all choices. I'll let y'all do that. Seven. Well, I guess Measure already jumped in, so I'll just let her push him. Seventeen. Uh, well. I mean, it's 12. He, he, he's able to stand there more, but you're still like towering <laughs> over him. He still moves like he doesn't wait, fall over. Wait, he's... I know the true test of how to test how he's doing. He is stronger than the cleric. I will put my blade in my back and I'll walk over to him and I'll be like, put your hands out. And then I'll slap him in the face. <laughs> It's something he did to me one drunk night to get me to... <laughs> He stops. Oh, Odin. <laughs> I will not kill him this day. I promise. It That's won't be payback. today. That's payback. <clears throat> For what? That night that I went drinking. You go drinking every night? No, I don't. I didn't drink last night. Did you not? Nope, I fell asleep in the tent. Oh, you sure looks, you weren't drunk? Because I saw the way looks, that that tent was set up. <laughs> he looks super proud of himself. So after Az slaps Graves, um, I'm going to push Az because I know that he's kind of as weak as Graves. So I want to see if he falls over more than Graves. Kind of as weak as Graves. Uh, you kill me. kind of weak. You kill me. <laughs> do I, do, do I kill you? <laughs> Pull a nat one, and I have a negative two modifier. <laughs> You pushed like his head just <laughs> And I did the opposite. I rolled an 18 and got a plus eight. So 26. Oh. I die. <laughs> you throw him by accident, just by pushing. Him. <laughs> it's it's just that scene where it's just like Thor and Hulk and he just goes ha, 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 boom, punches it across the, <laughs> into the building or something. Well in this case, a pile of mound snow. There you go. Yeah, so as I push uh, As down, I go, huh, I guess he is stronger. He's stronger than As now. It is hey, Graves will walk over and reach um, hand out to As. I'm stuck in the snow. I can't get It's hands and legs are sticking up. He pulls, he's going to pull you out. He's going to try to pull you out of the snow. Hold on. Let's go. I will try to help you. Well. Yeah, you don't have to roll that. You can just easily pull him out. It's not like I, heavy. I wanted to roll stuff. without a minus two. It was, <laughs> uh, it was a 14. Yeah, he pulls you out of the snow. I can. I can 
help again. Az looks at Wild Horror and begins to walk very far around the group. <laughs> I just wanted to know. I'm sorry. It is okay, King of Cats. That was a very good push. Well done. Well done. Well, at this but point... No, this Graves is stronger, so that is good. At this point, we're at our halfway mark for the evening. We're going to take our... Uh break we'll take a five minute break the show want to take longer yeah uh, can we take a look just uh make it like a seven or eight minute break <laughs> just make it even <laughs> 10 minute break how about that even 10 minute that would, that would right. be appreciated all right cool we'll be back guys enjoy the show and welcome back as our party is gathered about uh, they just had a close encounter with the ancient white dragon. They got knocked on their butts. Uh, they went out for a second and they came back. The dragon's gone. They see a young graves with a ice eyeball. Kind of like icicles coming out and it's kind of like steaming off of it. Like, the best way to describe it. Uh, ice that steams. Oh. Um, and then As was describing what he looks like now. Uh, sure. For everyone that pays attention, uh, as his eyes that were beginning to tint red have turned entirely red now. And I have dark vision uh, in magical and non-magical uh, light up to, sorry, in darkness up to 120 feet. Actually, as... Give me a wisdom saving throw. I forgot. Wisdom saving I forgot throw. this like twice now. Wisdom saving throw. Da -da 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 -da. How's a 16? Everybody, you see. Graves, you remember seeing this symbol. This symbol, as he's sitting there, as he, like, everybody come, as they were talking to you about where you look and he does this, his abilities and stuff you see the same symbol you've seen before once before when he was in his sleep hormone his chest he gets knocked back his eyes go in the back of his skull and he lands on the grass in the snow I need everybody to take their headsets off except for ass and again I totally forgot to do this for a while All right. What's your new power? Here is this shield. You can animate just like your sword. Completely gold looking. Open with your defenses. You can add a gold plus one shield. Gold is for flavor, but just you can add a plus one shield to yourself. It's gold. Mm. Is that a shield plus one? Mm -hmm. And you automatically know that you can summon it like your sword. Kill, kill, kill. Unless you want to come first with him real quick. Nope, I will just thank him and be on my way. Everybody can put their headsets back on. And we back. Uh, is Measure back? Yep. <laughs> is Gray's back? I don't think he is. Uh, what would y'all like to do while he's passed out? Um, as is on the ground with its like eyes rolled back in the back of his skull. <clears throat> Measure would help her look, go over there to check him out. See if he's all right. She does, does see the same like diamond symbol on his chest. Can she do a medicine check? Uh, this has nothing to do with medicine. Her you, friend fell down could... on the ground and his eyes are rolling. Oh, back. medicine check. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were trying to see about the symbol. Seems fine. <laughs> well, you roll a one. 
Yep. You're not sure what's going on with him. I think he is dead. <laughs> Logan's gonna come down like, wake up! <laughs> slap him. <laughs> slap him. <laughs> you... You smack him, nothing happens. You can hear like him mumbling under his breath at this point. Something. Uh, <laughs> Strider, any, any ideas? I have no ideas, but I'm going to I'm going to run over and just kind of grab him like right by here and just try to shake him awake and see if that works at all. Nope. Wild Door <clears throat> will just walk over and grab him and pick him up, put him over his shoulder. As you try Shall to pick him up. Can't. What? You know what? As you try to pick him up, you can't. I, I know how this works, too guys. Heavy? I know how to fix it. I'm gonna go over to Az's body. Uh, hold I'm up. gonna lean down and attempt to kiss him. <laughs> you kiss him. <laughs> <Did it happen>? <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to figure out what's going on with Az. Yeah, I had everybody put their headsets back on, but you wasn't here. <laughs> so you see, you see As with his eyes rolled back in his uh, skull. He has that same symbol that you initially saw when we started the campaign on his chest. Uh, while we're trying to pick him up, he's not able to pick him up. Strider went over and kissed him. And Strider went over and kissed him. I heard stories from. Just some lands that I used to live in, and I thought it would work. Uh, right. Wild Roar will take out his water skin and try to pour some water on his face. <laughs> it steams off. I'm gonna pour holy, holy water on his face. <clears throat> like 60 points of damage. He's <laughs> dead. <laughs> 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 Uh, if nothing else is happening, Measure will literally just scream and yell in his face. I want to pull holy water on his face. As you're doing this, mm -hmm. for you, you would think it's working. This more sure coincidence as you come back to. Ah, I did it. Rise Lugan's about to slap again. I pour <laughs> more holy water on his face. And that, uh, the symbol on his chest vanishes. Ah. Choking up the water. M measure is still yelling. Yeah, Measure is yelling at your face, point blank. Can we stop? Please. My head hurts. You guys? Are you graves? Pours more holy water on his face. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and kick him in the shin. <laughs> Roll an attack, <laughs> an arm strike. Go for it. Thirty twenty. He casts shield <laughs> and and blows your fucking foot away. No, anyway, um, he doesn't do that. He gets kicked to the shit. All right, get up. Come on. Are you all right? My head hurts. <laughs> I'm drowning all of a sudden. <laughs> and my Did cheek hurts. Are you getting old now? Now that I'm young? That technically, you're getting old from the day you're born. True. Apparently not in his case. Do you need case. me to carry you, Az? Do you need, to, do you need me to carry you? Or are you good to go? Uh, As would like to pretend to stumble a little bit. Performance check. Would anyone like to see if I'm lying? No. I, actually, my intelligence is garbage, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna see it and be like, "Oh, friend," <laughs> and then I'll just put you on his shoulder. What'd you roll? I rolled a 19 plus 6. It looks like he's about to fall on his face. You want me to roll an insight? To All right. 
Just because Graves is going to do it at this point. Wow. Also, Graves knows him. I just want you to know, this is going to sound ridiculous, but that's a 30. Jesus, you have a plus... I have a plus 11. Oh my sight. god. Because it's my expertise. <laughs> he looks at him. What are you doing? doesn't respond to you at all. <laughs> He's closed his eyes and he just looks content. Wild Lord, you know, when you're carrying an injured person like this, you should carry them upside down. It makes me feel much better. Oh, he's not carrying them at all. I yes, picked I them up. I, picked I, them I up. picked them up and put them over my shoulder. Oh, I thought you yeah. just caught him. You need to hang them. You need I to hang caught him and then down. I put him up. It'll let the blood flow better to his head. As so you, you just let him to throw, you on, throw him on, your on his shoulder? Okay. Um, he will believe Graves, and he will try to turn Just half upside down there. as he carries yep. as he carries him out to the side with his head facing down. <laughs> as will as will slump his arms and pretend and hold his breath as long as he can. <laughs> How do we get going? Yep. Let's go. Measure, our yes. amazing guide, did you lead us the way? Where are we going? Are we going to town or are we going to the camp? We need to find the town speaker still. Okay, I will lead to you to the cackling chasm. Hopefully, as is feeling better by the time we get there. If not, I know a couple of prayers that will help. Maybe we can use the holy water again. That worked well last time. All right, uh, let me get another round of measure. Let me get another perception check. Oof, nine. Is Wild War walking behind Graves? Yeah, what's the ma what, what is the marching order? Um, I'm sure Measure's in front. Usually I would be up front with Measure, but I think since I have As, I'll probably be in the back. Graves is actually next to Measure. He has two eyes now. He's gonna keep watch with measure. I would like to throw a snowball at Graves. Could you offer? Could you offer help? Hanging upside down. <laughs> yes. I'll roll at a disadvantage. <laughs> I do. I do offer my help. Yeah, I'm gonna roll a second time for advantage. Okay. Oh, actually. How how did I actually roll lower than a two? Okay. I won't keep your straight roll because you're using a staff that he does not have. So you it doesn't I, I rolled a nine with my highest, it's fine. Okay. Um mm -hmm. you feel confident you go in the right direction. I am distracted oh. by the fact that the grapes looks young. And with your staff you can see for some reason, you're not sure why. It's getting darker, like quicker. You're not sure why. Since it's dark out, can I try and see if there's anything that I can see with my new eyes? I'm saying because of her staff, she can still see the sky. She can actually okay. see the stars out, dark sky. Is the vision outside actually getting darker? The vision stays pretty much the same because of the gloomy and stuff. It's a little bit darker, but it's not like... I, I might have slight benefit in darkness, which is why I wanted to see if maybe it it's would not help. pitch black, but because oh, of okay. the snow, the snow it still there's a shimmer of gray pretty much all the time because of snow. Okay. Not so I, on have, the ground. I have 330 feet of dark vision now. Nice. Doesn't really help with the snow falling, but okay. <laughs> but with measure staff, just so everybody knows player wise, her staff allows her to see <clears throat> through the elements yeah she's saying past the past yeah. the snowy sky basically yeah but measure using the staff you realize for some reason time it a lot of time has passed and y'all visually y'all been walking for a while now y'all visibly or not visibly but start feeling tired like you've been walking all day And everything's half speed anyway, because uh, thick snow. 
Uh, I expected. <laughs> this snow is horrible. It, um, go ahead. No, you go ahead. I'm, I'm just looking at something real quick. Looking at one point uh, during the walk, would come up to beside Graves, take his spear out, and be like, um, I haven't actually seen you use a weapon. I remember you used to say you enjoy using spears. Would would you want to use mine? Sure, I would love to. So he'll give you his spear. He looks very happy. His hands aren't shaking like they were when he was older. Um, looks content right now. It's not my spear, but it's, it'll do. Thank you. Welcome. Um, how are you, how are you doing with the cold? Oh, I'm doing pretty, pretty good. Um, this coat is nice, and then if my feet get get cold, I'll just kind of stop a little bit, and bits of flame will come out. And it's easier to warm up, if need be. Um, sadly, if I try doing that, I'm going to yell. I might catch y'all on fire or something like that. I think so. Um, well, I know you're not used to it much, and I'm not sure uh, with everything that's happened and me becoming younger again, it's, there's a lot of odd things happening right now. Yeah, there's a lot going on. I don't feel really... It's cold, but it's almost the same as when I'm wearing the ring. You, you notice that he's not wearing the ring anymore that Measure gave him? Mm -hmm. I feel it's the same if I have it on or off. Yeah, do you want to use it? I could keep you warmer. I'll, I'll gladly wear it. Thank you. And so, yeah, he'll he'll definitely take that ring. Okay. <coughs> it was a gift measure. I do. I wouldn't have given it away if it wouldn't be better for you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll I'll let her know that as well that you've given it to me. Just so oh, oh, don't. Okay. Shh, okay. I won't. Although I'd really like to get out of this stupid heavy coat. <laughs> Just I, I, like a I funny hop like, on that. <laughs> he, uh, he looks at you, he's like, in his new, like, very light cloak. He's like, I, I know the feeling. It, it was very suffocating. Uh, but hopefully it's better for you. Um, it's the Ring of Warmth, by the way. Ring of Warmth? All right. Yeah, you will have to attune to it. You can't do it now. You have to gotcha. It. Later. Hey. Yeah, and I just had a, a regular, it was a regular spear, just a standard spear. Mm -hmm. So I gave it to you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Um, I will say if y'all keep pushing, starting getting in the exhaustion territory, if y'all want to set up camp again. Up to you guys. Yeah, we probably should. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Yeah, we'll set it up. Get, you, you, you're carrying my tent, right? Right, Graves? Can I... Get it out. Yes. He will cool. pull it out. Um, yeah. Start setting up, setting up uh, the tent. For y'all, uh, for player knowledge, we are directly south in the big circle pasture, you know, just uh, just west of that first map. Um, yeah, but we're gonna set up camp, I guess, here for tonight. Yep. Don't freeze. Uh, over the, t the time of us being in this short rest, or this long rest, uh, I'll attune to the, uh, Ring of Warmth. Okay. And I, at, at that point, I'll also take off the, the heavy clothes and be able to show off the the touch the patterns on his arms and legs again like oh Ugh. I can move it won't get hit as much as you finish up setting up camp that 
Crazy wind you start hearing. A vanilla blizzard coming in. Oh, boy. Well, you want to. Um, who's taking first watch? Should we uh, cuddle I like will. penguins? <laughs> I mean, it's gonna be kind of hard. Uh, Graves will do it. <laughs> Graves is feeling yeah. more confident. Feel more confident now that you're young, got a glass eye. You can see again, you know, he's not feeling as useless anymore as like he feels like he's regained something for the fire so, so perception check yep. disadvantage yeah but it's a blizzard too so perception is and that's a 21 i rolled two 21s uh, it's still relatively hard to see in this blizzard. Mm -hmm. um, but your watch would go by with that fill. But the blizzard lasts for your entirety of your watch. So I need con saves. I need four of them for everybody. I need to know who is intense. Is everybody intense? I'm assuming. This is in a the tent. Blizzard, yes. I'll be in Az's tent. I'm in Weldor's tent. Don't make it weird. Yeah, we'll be in. No, what? Did, what? Huh? I said don't make Bro, it weird. Sleep in a tent. <laughs> Four feet across. Five feet they're... apart because not gay. <laughs> All right. So if first round of Conseys. It's cold. I'll, I'll lean up against the line and for warmth, man. <laughs> I don't know whose tent I'm in, but if it was if it was a blizzard, I know I would have gone in. Yeah, yeah it's a blizzard. I'm assuming everybody is in. Uh, Grace is probably trying to keep a watchful eye from inside the 20. tent like this. <laughs> Uh, con save is 20 plus I have um, uh, cold resistance. Yep. Uh, saves. Uh, power. Seven, what's the number? Uh, 18. Save as. Sorry. How many con saves? It'd be four, but I just do one round at a time like, right now. Uh, 15. You save. Strider. I got a 16. You save. Grace. 17 is the number tonight. Nice. Looking. 17. Hey. Y'all been... save for the first first hour. Hey. Another round. I just rolled all four together, so. Alright. What 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 was the other three? <clears throat> wow. Uh mine uh, I have a 19, 20, and 24. All right, you're good. Ass? What's your other three? Uh, 16. 15 again. And then 19. Hey, nice rolls. Strider? I got a 16, a dirty 20, and a natural 20. Jeez. Graves? Um, hold on. I'm going to roll them all now. Gonna wait. First one's a 15, or the second one's a 15, I guess. 14 and 16. 14. You take one point 15. of exhaustion. Yep, 15, 14, 16. I do have cold resistance as well, if that matters. Uh, I already took it in count. Uh, yes. Lucan? Uh, 19, 15, and 16. You save. Uh, measure? Uh, what? So this was, this, wait, this was four con saves? Yeah, three more. You already did one. Uh, the first, yeah, the first one was 20. The second one was a 19. The third one was a 14. The fourth one was a 15. Uh, You take one point of exhaustion. One of them failed. Even with? Yeah, because these are the, the blizzard. I I, <laughs> I raised it up. The, the Basically, 15 was the DC for all of it. So people that got 15 should have exhaustion now that, that we're not. No, having... they saved. They hit 15. With, it's the 14 that with... failed. But without cold resistance. Yeah, I said beginning campaign for the blizzards that that, that doesn't really affect. 
I said uh, if like your cart and if you take stuff and it raises uh, it helps with the DC actually lowers the DC actually nobody takes I did that backwards my bad everybody saves I raised the DC I should have lowered it my bad I'm not on it tonight so everybody saves y'all take any levels of caution the reason I asked was y'all intense should have lowered it not raised it I don't know what I'm doing whatever my bad never mind uh everybody they is were good poorly made tents one of them didn't even stay up for as earlier but i'll make sure that it stays up <laughs> <laughs> what a good guy what good a guy. gentleman what great friend. all right so your watch goes that fellow who's taking the next watch i will i'd imagine right. lucan was like leaning up against wild wars when wild war got up he just kind of <laughs> flopped back like, ah. if you want to go assist him you can that's a, I'm just saying that's a big ass tent. It's gotta be. It holds two people. Yeah, the two people tent. Two medium sized people. We're, yeah. We're yeah. medium. I'm. You're... I'm medium sized. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, perception check, you guys. All right. Uh, you said disadvantage, right? A advantage if Lucan's helping. I'll help. Okay. I don't know if you would have woke up for that and joined you. Um, that is a. What's my plus? Come on. Uh, plus four now, so seventeen. You have dark vision. I, I do. You do. Okay. Yep, sixty feet. And with <laughs> looking, you don't see it, but you hear it. Off in the distance. Uh while we're you can see a dragon. Oh jeez. Not flying towards you, just flying in the distance. Hmm. Does it seem to be flying well I'll, I'll ask uh well for uh where what direction did that come from? Come to you from your north. Okay. Coming from the north, I think. I don't. I don't know if it's searching for anything in particular, but uh, I was kind of wondering like if it, it might have been. Uh, it might have been Graves' friend. I don't know. Friend? Hey. I don't know. Is it friend? I don't know. Is, you think it's his mother? Could be his mother. It's possible. I don't know what's going on with him. But I, I was Poor wondering father. because oh, oh. maybe it's father. We don't know gender. We don't know. It's it's a dragon. I mean, I, I didn't get a good maybe, look, so there's no way for me to tell. Or maybe grandmother, great great grandmother. I don't know. Let's go. I like the grandmother idea. I like the grandmother idea. Let's go with the grandmother. 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 Yeah, I was asking so, because I wasn't sure if it was att maybe attacking the gnolls for us. Who knows? Oh. But if it's from the north, then no. Nah. That would be helpful to have a dragon yeah. fight for us. That would be nice. That maybe thing we, we, was we'll, big. Maybe we should ask uh, Graves to put in a word with his grandmother. Yes. Yes. Grandmothers are very helpful. Grandmothers love their grandchildren. Exactly. Obviously. When, when we see him, we will ask him if he can ask his grandmother. Great idea. Maybe we should ask him now. Why do we wait? Maybe, well, well, we poke our head out. Is this still a blizzard? No, the blizzard ended on his watch. It ended, it ended on, okay, on his watch. Look around. It's still he snowing, but it's not like a blizzard. So. Yeah. He just ended his watch. Maybe we'll ask him in the morning. Don't want to disturb his sleep. Okay. He, he does now have a spear. So, I mean, he could, <laughs> he could probably stab, stab one of us if he wanted to. Hmm. All right. Very good. Who has the next watch? I'll take it. <laughs> I want to do it with you. I'm all alone. Okay. There's no one here. <laughs> As Strider's like coming out to watch, I'll say, watch <coughs> out for old man's grandmother. And then I'll just go into the tent. Excuse me? 
I mean, the circus tent. <laughs> uh, you can roll a perception check. Yay. And 11. It's kind of hard to tell what's going on. It's so hard to see through the snow. Um, watch seems to go by without any issues. You hear a dr distant dragon roars. Not as loud mm. as what they heard. I'm, I'm guessing that's what they meant by grandma. Probably. Uh, if y'all need a long rest, I'm not sure if y'all do. If somebody cast some spells, you can take your long rest. Everybody can wake up. you like to do. Old man, we saw your grandmother. Your grandmother. Yeah, well. In the sky. He, he's, flying around. he's not uh, muted. His mic is like a little away from him or something. Your grandmother grand. flying in sky. Flying in sky, yes. Can you can you ask grandmother to help us with Knowles? That is not my grandmother, first of all. And I do Your not father? know who or what my relation is to the dragon. But I would advise and ask kindly that you do not call it my grandmother. Thank you. Is it more like a grumpy it, uncle? I meant no offense. It was it was respectful because grandmothers are wonderful. They are it, wonderful. It is not my grandmother, thank you. And he looks over at Lucan. You know, I could use a little bit of luck right now. Do you want to keep talking? He's he's in the middle of like just kind of stretching. He's like, it, it, it's honest questions, man. <laughs> Grandmother. I didn't ask you if the rabbit we ate last night was your sister, right? Okay, that's completely different. That wasn't walking and talking. <laughs> he chuckles a bit and like pokes you in the back with a spear. All right, let's go. Oi! <laughs> All right. Uh, Measure Don, would you like to go lead us in another perception check? <laughs> At this point, since I'm not carrying as I'll probably be in the front with her. I'm <laughs> assuming, actually, I'm assuming y'all ate some more meat. Fire, probably. I yes, have... Um, yep. Where are my rations? Sorry, team. I'm feeling as good as my rolls right now. Um, Asher, you're rolling with advantage, right? Am I? Okay. Because your staff, if you're using your staff, you can roll with advantage because you can see through. That would be much better. That's a 26. That's a lot better. Are you still feeling how you're rolling? Uh, uh, unfortunately, no. As y'all moving forward, measuring, start seeing the, mount, the mountain ranges. And you know on the other side of this mountain range is the location you're trying to see. I apologize. Well, I definitely feel home here. Not actually my home, but uh, mountains. Well, hopefully there's some nice people like you around here. Mm. Not I, I, I do not know good things about the uh, the Nolds. Yeah, I wasn't really banking on it, but <clears throat> that was good to hope, right? Yes. Uh, but how far how far away are we? Uh you're still like a good half day away from the actual location to reach but you can see the mountain ranges now we should be there by mid-afternoon the one thing i don't get is why did these gnolls travel so far for tourmaline when there was probably other towns closer there are, are other towns closer many of them this is Ready in, under the in fact, I would think eight of them are closer. Do we know if Tourmaline's the only one that they've even hit? I mean, that's true, but... Considering Dang, how, that's far! Considering how well the information travels in these parts, 
I'd say we would have heard of it if you know, gnolls were attacking these people. I'm more under the assumption that something caused them to go there. You think someone, like, ordered them to? More than likely. Hmm. That's why we should always be on our guard. We have no idea what could happen. Look, a dragon just appeared, and now I'm young. We really have no idea what we're dealing with now. <clears throat> and didn't, didn't those blinding light guys look familiar, too? They did remind me of a couple of the people from the town that we had seen before, but I don't people. notice the innkeeper. The innkeeper? Marita? It, it was Martha, right? Mm -hmm. The innkeeper y'all was saying that, and uh, the general storekeeper, front owner. And I then one you that looked familiar, but you couldn't play. Oh, oh, the third one was the stable master. And Martha's the one who, like, gave the warrior the wars. Ring. Yep. I will say, and it's something I would have done. He would have definitely buried their bodies in like the snow somewhere instead of just leaving like their corpses just laying on top of the snow. That just I I did I want to make that a point. He would have given them that respect. Uh you weren't young yet, so look well, he, he, that's why okay. he has people, young, able bodied okay. people around at all times. Okay. Except for right. except for as as is more of the brain. He needs him for his brain. I'll allow it. Y'all help uh, bury these people. <laughs> So y'all would know yeah. these people who they were. Yeah. Speaking of fights and being more prepared, and as Strider's saying this, he's just slowly taking more steps towards Wild Roar, and just Strider's just staring at his own hand as it kind of fills up with shadows. And I put a hand right on Wild Roar. Will you let me put my hand on you? Um sure. Okay, and the darkness kind of seeps into Wild Roar uh, as I cast Vigilant Blessing on you. So the next time we get into combat, you have advantage on initiative. Ooh, sweet. Nice. That lasts until you use it or until I cast that again. Nice. Feeling a little bit more alert. Thank you, friend. Nice. <laughs> Let's not go down so quickly next time. Let's hope not. <coughs> I'm assuming you're doing this all while you're all traveling. I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Measure, would you like to give me another round of perception chats? What do you for? Um, you don't really see anything out of Norman. It's just a bunch of snow. Get around the bend. You know you're getting close. I would say it's probably like right at like noonish. You know you can probably get there in like the next hour. Uh, she will like <clears throat> every once in a while stop, use her staff, see where the sun is, uh, mm -hmm. check what time it is. Make sure she knows where she's going. And she'll, she'll let everyone know it's about an hour away. In the midst of the second, I'm about to say, in the midst, midst of the second part, looking to have gotten his sheet from him writing down like the thoughts of everything we have going on so far. He's like, all right, so people disappearing. We now have people turning into blinding light, freezing creatures. Um, Somehow connected to Knowles, question mark. <laughs> Graves hands him a little, like, journal with very detailed and neat notes here. Hmm? This is going to be oh. better for you to study on. When you're taking notes, you should slow down so it doesn't look like a bunch of chicken scratch. Well, when we're walking, I, I want, like, taking well, rabbit scratch. notes. What does that even say? It's, it says Knowles, question mark, right here. That's a knoll? 
That says quite a, I didn't try drawing a no. It says, says it's a G. Are you uh, sure? I thought these were drawings. Are you a no. wizard? What's with all these symbols? No, I'm just trying to keep track. I was told to keep track I've of never what seen the game. Like, like <laughs> where did you learn these runes? Starts rolling it off. It's a, it's silver. <laughs> Puts it is back it? in his bag. <laughs> is it? It's not actually silver. It's clearly cut co- like poorly written common. <laughs> <laughs> As y'all approach closer, don't want to go walking. How are y'all approaching? Uh, but actually, before we go in, um, I actually would yeah. uh, probably pull over, um, Knight Cleric. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I do not know what to call you, but um, are you are you actually young, or are, do you just look young, like Aztrix? From the way that my hip moves, I think I'm young. I I worry about you because you have fallen many times, and I appreciate the concern, Mesha. I really do, but I've never been a person. I needed somebody to hold my hand while I did things. Never in my life. Even it is more about was. picking up your corpse. Look, if I die, just leave my corpse where it is. I would not understand. <laughs> Sound good? I, yes, I just... Uh, <laughs> you, you have become friend. I want to make sure you are surviving. I appreciate that. It means a lot. Very if good. it means anything, I now no longer think of you as burden. Ouch. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yes, of course. This is good. He we will go ahead. smiles very softly but painfully with his <laughs> little flickering eye looking at you. Thank you. Question. Do I hear this conversation? Uh, I'm not. I did take him aside, um, <laughs> but I wasn't whispering. So you, if you want to roll for that and decide... You're welcome. He would not have mind. He wouldn't have been whispering either. Does a 17 hear it? Yeah, totally. I'm so. As As is walking by, he hears Graves talk about having nobody hold his hand. And he'll be like, <coughs> three broomsticks bar and walk by. You fucking. It was four halflings. And I had three gallons of dragon ale. I don't want to talk about it, okay? Still had to hold your hand, buddy. It's more than my hand. And he continues yes. to walk by. <laughs> <laughs> Measure you would know what you're about to approach on. Uh, this chasm. The lowest point is about 200 feet. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, typically they don't have like look, lookouts, whatever, posted. Nobody dares come down this far. I'll just send for measure for your knowledge. I'll just send this to you. Um, you can describe it best you can. She's so eloquent with her words. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> you could just draw it in the snow for us. Probably. Sure. Show us what it looks like. Use the, use the butt end of the staff. <clears throat> I should send you this Well, drawer understands you perfectly, strong one. Good. Uh, where are you sending it? Discord. Okay. Yeah, so she will, um, uh, you know, talk to the group. Uh, we are close. Uh, it is a um, very big gaping hole in um, in ground. Very uh, icy, dark ca- uh, chasm. Um, 
You would be approaching from the south. We are, we are coming it. from south, south of it. Wouldn't it be north? Because we're okay. Well, because you have to go around the mountain range to get to it. Okay, okay. We are coming from south. Um, it is. Uh, the chasm is, is is long, pointing north south. Um, yeah, it is uh, very deep. I, I've heard the rumors. Uh, I've never been myself, but uh, two two hundred feet down. No one comes here. Very dangerous. Mm. We should be wary then. Mm. Do you remember the caverns where the kobolds were? Yes. Those caverns went deep as well. And you see one kind of creatures almost killed swift then. Mm. This is true. Uh, uh, friend, um, uh, formerly night cleric, uh, do not jump in water. I promise you I will not jump into water. Okay. All right. I will uh, not when we... I won't jump into a hole though. I will not try and save you. Understood. Uh, as we uh, if we are actually once we're actually approaching it, I will cast pass without a trace game. But only when we're close, so it's not wasted. I'm just waiting for y'all. Let me know if y'all want to progress that far yet. Let me know. I, I want to warn people, this is dangerous. I, I do not know. Um, I think doing good deeds, saving people is worthwhile, but uh, it will be a risk. We do not do good, who will? Wise words. As y'all get closer, get around the stealth checks from everybody. I'll, I'll cast Path without a trace. Uh, so plus 10. Ooh, almost in that 20. Yeah, I got 30 on <laughs> stealth, 32. I have a 26. 26. <laughs> So 18. broken. I got a forty. <laughs> Glad y'all did because <laughs> well, I was rolling so. Without, oh, I can't oh. even find myself anymore. I know y'all blend <laughs> in with the snow. Grinder has disappeared from existence. <laughs> <laughs> He's no longer on this plane. <laughs> Uh, yes, looking, I know. Oh, yeah, sorry. I'll just yeah. comment in general. Sorry. <laughs> uh, what are you so scared of? I don't know. I'm not scared of anything. And it will, <laughs> we'll only give a comment if y'all force something. So. Not trying to. <laughs> but uh, as y'all kind of like crawl up, sneaking up, because it's pretty much gorge of a lack of better term, chasm. You can see pages of people you see gnolls feasting on god knows what you see the very back of the chasm this owl body like figure which is in the back of lucan's background casting some dark purple energy over three bodies. <laughs> some gnolls are gathered around healing. Carvings on the side of this owl figure. Too far away to hear any like chanting or anything specifically. You see these three figures. She's casting on. Rise up and immediately start having that blinding light you remember. Officially. As Knowles drop 
three more bodies. And that's where we're in tonight's episode. No! We'll pick we up that <laughs> next week. Thank you, everybody. Love you very much. We leveled up tonight. Saw Ancient White Dragon. <coughs> Braves is young again. Something else happened to somebody else. Y'all didn't discuss. But. See what happens next week. Great. Thanks everybody for having. Uh... Hanging out with us. <laughs> We got in a combat. We've definitely gone way over our time. And we've went over our time the past couple times. So if you want to join in on our giveaways, I'll be posting a giveaway for some dice. I haven't, like I said, I haven't decided which one from this bag. But uh, be sure to join the Discord and enter in the giveaway when I post it tomorrow. If you like merch, there's an exclamation point merch. If you want to get you some sweet merch, hoodies, t shirts. Um, I got my new coffee mug. I should have grabbed it, but it'd be great. But um, we'll see what happens next week. Seems like it's gonna be fun. Yeah. Oh boy! Oh boy! <laughs> Thanks everybody for watching. Um, hope uh, we still gotta come over that tagline, but uh, we'll see you next Sunday, same place, same time, seven thirty p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And uh how the party does. It's gonna be great. Thank you everybody. Have a great night. Bye everyone. Bye.